Hi and welcome back to a new video. In my hands I have a pretty old Corsair cooling block which I don't know it's like 15 years old and I found this one on eBay several years ago. I originally wanted to test this much earlier but it just wasn't compatible to one of the recent sockets and uh, I think it should be good to test this with like an 11900K. Heat wise would make absolute sense. So first of all we have to build a new adapter plate like a mounting bracket to make this compatible to 11.5x sockets and yeah that's why we are here in my warehouse and uh, yeah I'm going to build a new one with our CNC machine. Seasonic, the heart of your system. So we made this very simple mounting bracket just have the cooler sitting in the center and then we have four holes on the outside just for the mounting. Very simple, very straightforward. Yep, the machine has been used already. You can see some yeah, rests of acrylic sitting on the machine head itself. But I cannot tell you that much on the, about this project so far. We will probably have this on my channel in a few weeks, but yeah. Now we will do aluminum. So acrylic we always use on this vacuum table and just for our part for today. A normal vise and then just an aluminum plate eight millimeter thick which we will use as base material. And the operation is already sitting inside our machine. And I just love how you can control this machine. This is so easy to use. And if you zoom in, all those blue lines, those are the tool path. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so a new mount and uh, we'll try again. getting there. Just have to finish the outline right now. And then add the chamfer. Yeah. So our frame is only sticking to those parts on the left, bottom, right right now and then yeah, result looks great. Meanwhile back home and I'm pretty happy with the first result. I mean that's the first aluminium plate we ever tried so far and we just used whatever like data they gave us for the milling tools but the quality, the quality is very smooth. We had some kind of fails in there as well as you can see those were supposed to be like through holes but yeah it's like half millimeter mi missing for whatever reason not sure what exactly went wrong there and yeah there's also this part right here where you can see it's like 0 0.1 millimeter thick aluminium which is left but that's fine I will just have to take out the frame out of these things right here and yeah just do some basic finishing by hand Drill the holes and then should be pretty much good to go. Uh, 
the result looks quite good for our first part. I'm very satisfied. Just missing some like chamfer stuff on the holes and everything, but yeah, looks good. All right, so last thing to test is just if the frame fits well, and it does. And it also looks quite good. I mean, this way, it still looks like a very cheap order block from like 15, 20 years ago, but adding this frame, it doesn't even look that bad. If we would not have those clamps right here, it would actually look quite decent. Fits well, but we will do the water cooling test in the next video because originally I thought I'm just going to quickly make this bracket and start with the water cooling video and then figured that you guys probably also will be interested in the CNC milling stuff. And yeah, so we will hurry up that we can quickly deliver this video and then we will hurry up that we can quickly deliver the water cooling video. All right, so that was a quick journey on the CNC milling for my first aluminum part. Quite satisfied. Thanks for tuning in, see you next time. Bye bye.